Hello viewers, this is Cynthia Michael from Screen Views, bringing you a new, bringing you my 508 podcast. This is my 508 podcast, and like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to be so hard during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cost any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18... This audio podcast recording will change for adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change for adult language. Now, if you're over 18, that means you're good to, uh, that means you're good to watch this podcast. <laughs> this audio podcast recording. So anyway, let's get into the latest ep- let's get into the topic. Now, recently, <laughs> recently, there's some new, the CW has came out with, uh, there's some big news at the CW. When it turns out that the CW is thinking about doing a Black Lightning spin-off series with Tankiller. With the, with the character Tankiller. You know, better known as Cleo. So, basically, you know, well, so basically, the CW is, so basically, there's a, this upcoming season of Black Lightning Season 4, will feature a backdoor pilot for uh, for a spin-off series that uh, for for the painkiller character. Uh, so basically, once again, I'm saying that the CW had uh, there's some news that the CW is planning on uh, planning on doing a uh, doing a spin-off series, a black lightning spin-off series with with Cleo, aka painkiller character. Now, now according to uh, according to uh, according to the latest news that this is the first season of Black Lightning is going to be 13 episodes. So basically, this 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 first season uh, this first season of Black Lightning is going to only be it's only going to be 13 episodes long. So basically, it turns out that in um, terms according to according to the information that I got, uh, you know, according to the information that that they are planning on doing a one of the, one of those episodes being episode seven is going to be a back it's going to be a backdoor pilot for the Painkiller spinoff series. So basically, uh, here's the description: Cleo, Cleo just arrived in a new city, and he just stopped if he decides to he decides to become a a, a, a crime fighter using his abilities, but he needs to but 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 he, while doing with his while doing with his painkiller uh, ego, so basically pretty much that's the whole plot of this episode. So basically it's going to be a backdoor. So basically it's going to be a backdoor pilot for for uh, for you know for the kind of painkiller spinoff series. So basically, a backdoor pilot is just like, you know, it's just like a, it's just like a, you know, it's just like a, it's a pilot, but you know, in in a main show, but you know, give us a, give us a taste of what what this new spin-off series could be. Now, my my problem is I have a like you know I go I gotta say like before I get into the uh, the cons I like to get into the pros. I, 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 you know, painkiller, you know, a painkiller series sounds good and all. Like you know I do want to see painkiller get his own series. He's like, you know, Painter is a very popular character on Black Lightning, you know, but those are the only two reasons, those are the only two pro reasons, I, and, and, you know, it'll be the first time that, you know, a, a young, a young actor, a young actor who, it'll be the first time a young actor, a young African-American actor will be, will lead his own, his own superhero show. But those are the only free pros I can uh, that I can you know find. Those are the only free, those are the only free pros. Now the cause is I feel like it's way too soon to do a painkiller series, even though the Black Lightning series has not even ended yet. So basically, I think it's way too soon. And the way Khalil's character is right now, I don't think Khalil's character. Painkiller character is, I think that the painkiller character is just not ready for his own series as of yet. So basically, so basically, like you know, I think it's way too soon to do a spin-off series with any of the Black Lightning characters at the, especially painkiller at the moment. You know, and I think it's just. 
I I think that painkiller will, will will you know I think that painkiller is just not the type of character to do like to do seriously do his his own show around and plus. And plus, honestly, if the CW, the CW has not committed to that green arrow and the canary spinoff yet. So basically, what the fuck are you going you gonna to do a painkiller spinoff series? You gonna do? A, you gonna? You gonna? You gonna try to? See, you gonna try to do a painkiller spinoff series? And you had not done anything with the with the with the arrow or with the arrow spinoff series yet? You know, being green arrow and the canaries. Uh, all right, look, look, what I'm trying to say is, uh, like, do I want to see a painkiller series? Yeah, it does sound interesting, you know. Do I want to see painkiller get his own series? Yes, I, I, I kind of do want to see him. I do I do want to see painkiller to get his own series. But, you know, at the same time, I just feel like painkiller is just, is it there yet to get his own series, and it's just way too soon. So basically, when I'm too, so basically, like you know, I'm kind of, oh, I'm kind of like between, like you know, I want to see Tanker, I, I, I kind of do want to see Tanker to get his own, his own show. But at the same time, I feel like it's just way too soon, or it's just way too soon to do a Tanker series. You know, I don't think Tanker is. Like you know, it's not a good enough. You know, it's not a good enough character as to as to yet to get his own series. And plus, yeah, and plus, Rock Lightning has not ended yet. So basically, I'm hoping that if that uh, they should wait to they should wait to Black Lightning ends. You know. <laughs> You know, wait to wait to see how the character goes on. I'm just saying this. I'm just saying that the, I they should wait. They should wait on this idea to do a painkiller series and see how his and see how the painkiller character character de develops on Black Lightning. So basically, if they want to look, if they want to do anything else, I don't think pain. I really don't think that Painkiller is ready for his own series. You know, it's too soon to do any type of spinoff series with any of the Black Lightning characters either. So basically, so basically, if they if they want really want to do anything with with the Painkiller character, is uh, my suggestion is put him on fucking Legends of Tomorrow. So basically, my suggestion is, if the CW wants to do anything with the pain kid, with the pain kid character, my suggestion is put him on DC Legends of Tomorrow. That makes more sense. And so basically, instead of just giving him his own spinoff series, let, let him, let him, let him start, let, let him start a, let, let him start a DC Legends of Tomorrow. Cause honestly, I feel like. But much as I dislike Legends after you know after you know after season two, you know I feel like I feel like Pain could could be a perfect fit on DC Legends uh, tomorrow instead of him getting his you know getting his you know his own spinoff series. So basically, let him let him be on Legends, let him be, let him be on DC Legends uh, tomorrow for a while. Then then you know. And see how he does on that show. Then, you, then you, then you, then you might do a painkiller series. So basically, I feel like you know painkiller shit. Instead of just doing a painkiller spinoff series, put him on DC Legends of Tomorrow for for a whole for a whole season and see how his character to better go and see how his character to better, to better go on that show. And then and then we assess. And then we said that you know that that pain is tanker is tanker should or shouldn't have its own spinoff series. So basically, I feel like you know tanker tanker is not ready for his own spinoff series yet. You know, send him to DC Legends of Tomorrow tomorrow and work on it. That way, he can have some character development on that show. And he does is is he is you know like you know this some this comes to DC Legends of Tomorrow for for a whole season. You know, if he if he comes popular on that show, then you do a painkiller series. So basically, my idea is this. So basically, once again, this is, you know.
Had painkiller, Hackle, aka painkiller, you know, you know, be a part of the cast of DC Legends, be a part of DC Legends of tomorrow for a whole season. If he, you know, if he comes popular on that show, then, then you should do, and then the TW should do a painkiller shoes, uh, and then do a painkiller show. So basically, that's just my idea, and this is just my pros and cons about this whole painkiller uh, spin-off series. So anyway, what do you guys think about this too? Uh, what do you guys think about this about this, you know? Do you want to see a painkiller uh, a painkiller show? Yes or no? Do you think do you think that painkiller should start or should be added to the cast of the DC Legends of Tomorrow? Yes or no? Please let me know in the comments below this podcast. So anyway, like always, this is Michael from Scooby Channel 1.